What's up, YouTube? Zach Slaughter Crew here, and uh, come to you with a trout gear review. Here's my gearbox. That's all I take trout fishing. So let's start. Open her up. We'll start with flies. There's the four littlest slots, and uh, got nymphs, black nymphs. I got fire ants, I got a little, I don't know what this is, I haven't even had to use it, I just bought it because it kind of looks cool, looks like it worked, and then uh, kind of a, another nymph pattern, or not nymph, uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about, not black nymph, those aren't nymphs, they are gnats, black gnats. And then I got the the darts. Oh, that's got a fine. There's a dart. Those are the little white and orange darts. They like steelhead darts, shad darts. Um, top water, popper, and a frog color, and spider. Little water spider. Caught a lot of bass and bluegill on those two top waters. The water spider and the. I haven't got to use them for trout yet, the water spider and the frog popper. Little nymph. Hard body nymph. Think sweet. Thing's awesome. And then a little soft body nymph. And then my uh, salmon egg bead. That's pretty much it for like the flies. And then for like the little soft plastic jigs I carry, all I carry is trout magnets, several colors. This I just pulled out one. It was red. I carry several colors of that. I carry the white and green, orange and red. And then a little like salmon egg with a tail on it. Yeah, I got those in green too, but and pink green and pink and then I got pretty much for terminal tackle I use trout magnet jig heads a lot for even bait fishing to so that my power bait don't float straight up it kinda sits about halfway where it would be right in the current about the far off bottom that was bottom and it just sways in the current like that with that jig head 8 ounce split shots Quarter ounce ball weights. Oh, shit. Quarter ounce ball weights. Um, eight ounce sliding weights. And then three eight ounce sliding weights. Uh, let's see. A bead. A couple beads to protect my knot from the three eight ounce sliding weights because they're a little heavy. And then I got the little lady bitty, like one thirty seconds ounce or one sixty fourth ounce ten split shots, the smallest ones they make. And then size eight hooks, Gamagatsu octopus, the tiniest barrel swivels they make and the tiniest snap swivels they make. And then size six panfish hooks with the long shank on them for rigging trout worms. That's it for terminal tackle. So then we'll go to spinners. For spinners, I got an orange blue fox with a gold blade. Awesome. Blue blue fox with a silver blade. It's probably my best spinner I have. I've caught so many trout on there, it's not even funny. Uh, the tricolor panther martin size four with the rainbow trout blade, blue and silver body. Castmaster with the chartreuse green on it, gold body, and then copper blade with a red dotted yellow body. Panther Martin, size 6. Get on my flash and a sonic rooster tail with the orange, the like fluorescent orange shiny blade with brown skirt. So that's it for that. Now we'll go to, uh, 
power bait. And uh, stuff like that. So, first of all, always keep a good multi tool on you that's got a saw, knife, and pliers. It's a real good multi tool. Bait pucks. Highly recommend them. They're Strike Master two pack I bought, red and yellow. My dad has red one in his backpack. They're insulated little bait cooler. You keep your mealworms, worms, whatever, about the size of a hockey puck. And it's just quarter turn, pops off, quarter turn, back on. Uh, it's the easy open lid, is what they call it. Uh, CFX, P line CFX fluorocarbon, four pound test, leader. Invisible fish. Now we'll start on the power bait container. So yeah, this video is kind of long. So in here, I ain't even done yet. I got one open slot up the top right here. I got to get one more thing to power bait. But I got um white and green, white and chartreuse, salmon egg called salmon peach sherbet it's orange and pink that's a good one this is probably one of the better ones hatchery pellet straight brown shit brown color um, I love this one rainbow candy from gold but it's garlic scented so it's got the rainbow with the flake with the garlic scented. The rainbow color with garlic scent. That's killer. You don't need the chunky cheese no more. Or and you don't need the chunky cheese and the rainbow. Mixed together, dude. It's the best of both worlds. Potskies, fire bait. This is in rainbow. Yeah. That's pretty good stuff. It smells just like hatchery food. Um Magic Trout Bait. <laughs> I picked that up at a store. I'd never seen it before, so I bought it anyway. So you got the old uh, metal lids on them. It's pretty cool. It's a good color. I've caught a couple of trout on it. I've never really used it, though. Um, but Uncle Josh's Natura Trout Bait. That's good stuff. That's like the real rainbow. That's an anise. And then uh, I got the honeyworms. Take my, uh, my video's getting kind of long. I don't want to bore you guys, honeyworms. Okay, waxworms from gold. Gold waxies. This is there. And the uh, power bait wigglers. Oh, that was kind of gross because I just scented these yesterday. I'm trying to break one off because of the power bait. Power wigglers. Micro power wigglers. Hard to see. There you go. There's power wigglers. And then, uh, white and green I have mixed together, and there's rainbow power bait and trout attractant mixed in with these eggs. The, I have, it's the lemon lime package. But I put the white eggs in there with them. You just shake it up real good. Those are killer. Put a little bit of rainbow power bait in there. And shake that up. And then put the trout attractant in the bottom. And shake it up some more, dude. And let it marinate for like a week or so. And then go trout fishing with the killer. Killer. Uh, Atlas spawn sacks. And I put some loose eggs in there too. To keep spawn sacks nice and juicy. There's actually little pre-tied bag a row in there and then titan so they bring in titan salmon eggs the real big salmon eggs and then we we'll go straight over to power bait try to track them i'm not done yet i'm gonna get a bunch more of these too power worm i need the white ones and i need the mouse tails with the white white head pink body and i need the white and pink that's the lunker lotion for trap steel head I need white peak mints and the just plain white uh, power worms. Hatchery pellet. Hatchery dust from Lip Rippers. Great stuff. And then a four pack of trout magnet bobbers. They're great for pink fish and blue. You haven't got to use my trout yet. 
So that's my tackle so far. And uh, I'm going to do another video that shows you how to rig your poles for trout fishing. So uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.